All right, you guys, in this step, we are gonna go through how to splice, or at least how I splice, uh, fire wires together. So in this case, we're using these MJG um, igniters. All right, so I've got, in part of my show, I actually have 15 foot lengths. I need three of them to go out and, virt and use one cue. So when you have something like that, there are a couple ways of doing it. They do sell these, I don't know what they're called, but they basically allow you to uh, clip in three into one and then put, put that one into the box up there, of course. Whoop, there it is. But I don't have that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off one of these quick plugs here. And we're gonna do that with these others as well. Actually, let's just do it. How much do I need? I like to save it so that I can make longer lengths as well. And in this case, we're gonna go a little bit longer on this one. So we're gonna use this piece here as the leader out to the other three. And then you gotta locate the center of the two wires. There's a blue and a white wire. I'm gonna use these scissors and hopefully not cut through my wire. <laughs> and basically slide that down to about there. I think that looks good. Since I'm already here, I'm gonna take my wire trimmer, or I don't know the name of this, you guys. <laughs> but I'm gonna pull off oh, about that much of the wire and do the same thing on this side. And we gotta do the same thing with the next, next pieces as well. So this is gonna be my home base one. This is the one that goes, actually plugs into the cube. And here's the first one that we will connect with the others to that and get the right thing. So we're gonna use scissors and do the same thing. We're gonna cut this one. And you wanna be careful so that you don't expose the copper wire. You know, sometimes you can get so close that you expose it, but I did all right on that. So now I'm gonna take off about the same amount of shielding. Ooh, I'm getting technical. All right, and they do mark them blue and white so you can put those together. So we're gonna do the next one. There may be minimal, you know, chance of static electricity uh, firing these things up, but I think I've, I've not experienced that yet. So it's a good thing. I don't have anything highly combustible around me so I think we're okay so we'll do the same thing with this one and then there is a shunt oopsie on the end of the uh the home base one I'll call it with the one that's actually going in it's got a shunt in it so once we get it once we get them connected uh there should be no issue but just understand it's a possibility okay and then final Look at that, getting half fast. Means half slow. <laughs> All right, there we go. So you're gonna gather the four ends that are the same color. So this is blue and blue. It's kind of hard to see that. There you go. I and mean, I can see, I mean, the camera's over me. <laughs> Great camera work. And then we're gonna grab the other one. I haven't done a three like this yet with four total so this would be a little bit new for me but you get like colored wires okay i'm gonna put all four together like that and i just use these flat pliers and give it about about three twists i really don't want to over twist it because if you break that wire it defeats the whole purpose of having fire wire because it's not going to work then you're gonna gather up the last four pieces like so. And then, here we go. My daughter is doing her homework over there, so. Uh, random talking happening. So we'll grab, it's okay. We'll grab these four and go one, two, about three there. And then we're done, right? <laughs> Just kidding. So, <laughs> so now we've got, you can see, this is where the home base Q is here and we've got these extra P 
pieces here. Now, what I like to do is make sure there's enough room. I pull this open a little bit. Hopefully, I don't break into the copper. There we go. Make sure there's enough room to get these along that same line because then I'm just going to take, let me see, I need a little bit more. I've got this really wide tape here. This electrician, electrical tape, rather. I'm going to cut that off. And you may have a different method of doing it. Maybe there's a, you know, these little K1, show these real quick, these little plugs over here. And they're really so small, they only fit two wires. And you don't have to strip the wire, which is really nice. But that's not going to work on this. And I don't have, you know, caps or whatever you're going to use, whatever the technical term is. But I will just simply wrap this once, go all the way back around again. And, uh, yeah, it's good to get it tight. There we go. <laughs> tight. So there's enough, there is enough, uh, coverage that we're not going to get this going into the, hit, hitting the other wire because that's what you don't want. You don't want both wires touching because it's not going to work. All right. And then I'm going to fold that over. And it looks like we've done a halfway decent job. So now I've got three that are fed off of one uh, quick plug. And normally what I would do is I would plug this in and I'll do it afterwards. But because it's on my phone that's being recorded, we're not going to see <laughs> if it has continuity. But I'm pretty sure after removing the shunt and plugging them in that we will absolutely have continuity. But nice thing about quick plug, you just throw them right in. So there you go, that's that section.